All right, this is gonna be a pretty short review because I, uh, I usually keep notes with these movies and I keep them here in my lap to say, you know, to keep all my thoughts in order because I do all this off the cuff, you know, just kind of little notes and yap about it. <laughs> I had a piece of paper and all I wrote on it was that Teresa Palmer from Warm Bodies and Hacksaw Ridge you know, was in this, and uh, that her boobs are shown a few times, and they're wonderful, and that the acting was pretty good from, especially Teresa. Teresa was fantastic in this movie. She, her performance was excellent. She's a great actress. She's a beautiful woman. Nothing taken away from her, but that is all I wrote down on the piece of paper. I was totally bored by this movie and just annoyed in general. Now, I know that this film is getting a lot of love, so I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not a shitty film. It's not. I was personally bored by it, but I know a lot of people are loving it. And a lot of people are complaining about the ending. I don't see that the ending is, they're like, oh, the movie was really good until the shitty ending. And I'm like, I'm not going to say what happens, which is, I don't want to go talk about spoilers, but I don't really feel like the ending was all that much different than the rest of the film. It was kind of anticlimactic, and it was kind of boring, just like the rest of the film was to me. I think that, the you know, this movie is about a girl who goes to Berlin, and she meets a guy, and he, you know, they have... It kind of reminded me in the very beginning of, you know, the Before trilogy, especially, obviously, the first one, uh, Before Sunrise the Richard Linklater film where there's a, you know, two people, they meet up in a place, a foreign place and they sit and they walk around, they talk and they, they fall in love and they have this whole romantic affair and then just take that. And then he fucking kidnap her, kidnaps her at the end because he doesn't want her to leave the next day when she goes, he gets, she gets up, he's gone to work and she's locked in his house and at first she thinks so it was just a mistake and then she finds out obviously it wasn't a mistake this film i just i guess what i have a problem with is that i felt personally now i totally see the flip side of this but for me personally i felt like this movie was written to show women as as weak like, like more physically than anything. Now, emotionally, mentally, this and that, she was definitely tough. But she's just walking around in the house with this guy for weeks, months. I don't know how long she was there. She was there a long fucking time. Like, he finally, like, he starts letting her loose and she's just hanging out with him in the house for all day, most of the time. And it's just like, at no point, she couldn't fucking overpower this guy, break a glass, slit his throat with it. Like, I'm sorry, man. If you want someone fucking dead or hurt and they have their back turned to you, this guy is not like some huge... It's not like he, she's being held by Andre the Giant or some fucking crazy huge dude or some martial artist MMA fighter. This guy's not that much bigger than her. He's not really that intimidating in the movie. Yes, she's scared. Yes, she's this and that. But it's like, really... In all the time you were there, you couldn't overpower this guy? Bullshit. You could. And I felt like I was just insulted while watching it. Like, break his fucking neck. Grab his... And just come on. Really? So, that was my personal view of it. Now, other people would sit there and be like, she had restraint because she was trying to stay strong and she was, you know, biding her time. Okay. I, I can see that. But it just didn't work for me. I personally was sitting there the whole time like, you can't do anything? Bullshit, you can't do anything. So that's really all I, honestly I have to say about the film. I think the film is fine. Um, it's very much what I just said. Like, you know everything that's going to happen. There are no twists and turns in this movie at all. There's no like, oh shit, oh my god. Oh. The tension is very minimal. I don't feel like there was a lot of tension scenes. There are people who are like 10 out of 10 on this movie. So clearly there's a lot of people out there who fucking completely disagree with me. That's awesome. I'm glad that they loved the movie. I never want someone to dislike a movie 
even if I hated it, I would love for everyone to go into every movie and love it because why would I want anyone to have a bad time? That being said, this is a movie that I absolutely wish I had skipped. It actually took me two viewings to get through it. I watched half of it, and then tonight it was another half, and it was a chore for me personally. 